Hi guys, I'm Murray. So this week we are going to be making a casket cake. It's a little out there, a little bit different. I hope that you guys enjoy it. And uh, there's lots of different techniques to it. I'm going to teach you how to make these really pretty miniature flowers that are on here and different elements of the cake. So enough of that and let me show you how to do it. Okay, so to make the flower bouquet, I'm going to use some white fondant and you want it to be pretty thin. And first I'm going to make the calla lilies. So I'm just going to cut these little triangles. And then I'm going to roll out some green fondant for the stem. And then just kind of push that into the center of the triangle. And then just for the center of the flower, I'm just using a little bit of yellow fondant. And you just want to put it into this almost teardrop shape and put that right into the center of the triangle and then roll the fondant around it. And that's it. For the rose, I'm gonna cut out a long strip of red fondant and then you're really just rolling it all in together, kind of pinching the bottom end of it tight. And then if you have too much fondant, you can cut that off after. And that's it, and you just stick your stem on. Now I'm gonna assemble all of my flowers. I'm just gonna kind of stagger them around um, this white fondant that I've laid out. So that way they kind of bouquet nicely together. And I have this little fondant tool that I bought a long time ago and then never used, so perfect occasion to use it. And I'm just gonna create these little shapes that I'm gonna put as details around my casket. And I also have this little pretty image in it that I can push into it. So that's going to give it a really nice detail. For the cake, I'm dividing my cake into two sections. And for the smaller section, that's going to be the bottom of my cake. And I'm just trimming off the top of it so I don't have that big bubble on it. And then squaring off the ends. I've divided my cake into two sections. And then I'm just going to fill it with some buttercream icing and then crumb coat the whole thing and get it ready to cover in fondant. Now, this is going to be a tiered cake, so we will need some supports in it. I'm using just some dowels. I've cut those to size and I'm just going to put them right in place. And this is going to help support the weight of the lid, especially because the lid actually overhangs the bottom. So you will need those supports. For the lid, I've already squared it off. And now I'm just going to cut these angles going around the whole outside of the lid. And that's going to give it more of a shape and not just look like a giant box. And I'm going to put it on its own cake board that I've already cut to size and then crumb coat that as well. Now I'm just ready to roll out my white fondant. And you really want to roll it out into more of a rectangle shape rather than a, a circle or a square because that's the, the shape that you're covering. Always try to kind of roll off and start off into the shape that you're going to be working with. Otherwise, you're going to have a lot of excess. And I'm just going to pull my fondant out and push in with my hand, wrapping it around my cake making sure it's really nice and smooth, and then just trimming off the excess. I'm ready to put on my lid. So I'm just gonna put that into place and then cover that and fold in as well. I'm just gonna use my scissors and trim off some of this excess fondant before I go working with it. So that way I don't get any tears or rips in my fondant. And I'm gonna smooth that out. You really want to make sure you're smoothing over those corners and edges so that way you get these really, really nice sharp edges. And I'm just going to use some brown piping gel, or not piping gel, but um, <laughs> brown gel food coloring and vodka. I'm going to mix those together till I get this really nice, beautiful consistency for my grain that I'll be painting on. I'm just using a paintbrush and I'm going to paint on the grain. So I'm using really long, nice strokes. And grain has got a lot of different dimension to it. So you want it to look kind of rough. And I'm going to be doing these angles going up and down and all over the place. And then you can actually use some just food coloring without the vodka to add more of the different shades, more of those darker tones to your wood. 
Now for the handles, I'm just using some chocolate fondant or you could use just brown fondant. I'm going to roll that out into that shape and you're going to need two of those. And then I'm going to wrap some white fondant that I'm dusting gold around those. And then I'm also going to dust those other little pretty things that we made earlier with gold as well. I'm just using a little bit of water and wrapping that around the brown piece. And you're going to need six of those. And just use a little water and push that onto the casket and slide it around slightly until it sticks into place properly. I'm going to use some spaghetti to stick my handle on. Um, the fondant's pretty heavy, so I wouldn't recommend just sticking it on your cake directly. I've chosen to use spaghetti instead of toothpicks because spaghetti is still edible. And I'm just going to use these um, little holes. I'm going to make some holes into the cake before I put it on, almost like I'm pre-drilling into the cake, <laughs> so that way your spaghetti sticks into it properly. And then just some water onto my beautiful bouquet. Ooh, there's the casket cake. <laughs> I know it's kind of scary in a way to be just like kind of looking at the, the casket, but it's very realistic and I hope that you guys really enjoyed the video and learned lots. And thank you so much for watching and don't forget to check out my next video on Tuesday. Every Tuesday I put up a new video and I will see you guys later. Bye.